Good afternoon, my lovelies. Today is a good day, but <laughs> I thought, while it's a good day, I thought I'm going to do a little update as to how I'm doing, like mentally, emotionally. Yes, I haven't gone full-blown crazy yet, but... It's a happy day today because I got to spend some time with my grandsons, with my lovely, beautiful, wonderful, kind, sweet grandson. So my daughter-in-law drove him down to Canberra. They say drive them up to Canberra because <laughs> Cindy is down uh, and Canberra is somewhere higher. Anyway. So I was happy and these are my succulents that I have to clean up. I was actually going to save a couple of in here that I cleaned up last night. I couldn't help it anymore because the, the state of the plant was just really, really bad. So I thought I better clean it last night while I was watching the marvelous Mrs. Macy. It's actually a good show on... Anyway, never mind. So... These ones are the next lot of succulents that I have to clean up and I have a special video topic uh, set aside for this one. So hopefully I get to do this tonight or even late this afternoon because right now I'm doing a transcript for another video that I filmed a couple of days ago. So I've been flat chat busy. And also I had my brother-in-law came over yesterday and I was doing marvelously this last a uh, few days prior to yesterday and the other day. <laughs> so anyway, and then I got this card yesterday from the mail. Oh my God, I don't want to cry. I'm sorry. Thank you so much, Margaret and Walter. This is sort of a happy and sad, this budgie. That's me in the middle. That's a female and there's two males. And the female budgie is saying to the other male budgie, are you okay? <laughs> and then this one is like, I don't care. <laughs> but anyway, thank you so much, Margaret and Walter. That's very sweet, but it did draw some tears. And this is just uh, exacerbated by my brother-in-law coming over. Love you all. Anyway. <laughs> so it's just been made worse by my brother-in-law coming over yesterday because we have to talk about the boss, of course, and sort of... Um, brought up some um, emotional <laughs> memory, you know it is. But anywho, today when I woke up this morning, I was trying to find myself. And then, knowing that my grandchildren's coming over today, or my son was supposedly, but then something uh, happened with my son that he couldn't come. So my daughter-in-law, bless her, brought the boys and of course I got to see them today so which is really good so I'm happy again so I thought I'm just gonna um, do this little update video really quick that way uh, I can work on the other video which is a little bit longer uh, it's the video itself that I am making now is a little bit longer and it's more intense because like the time wise taking me a long time to upload it is because I have to do the transcript for the languages so that other people from other country can actually watch it and when they watch it they can understand what's going on because there's a lot of requests of people saying we can't understand could you please do this and do that so I thought I might as well do uh, the transcript before I upload it, the subtitles, that's it, basically, to uh, fit every language from different countries. And that's what's taking a long time. Whereas before, the first couple of years, when I was doing my videos, I would just film, well, I just wake up in the morning, I'll get up, uh, turn the camera on, walk around, and 10, 15 minutes later, I uh, sort of quickly edit it, upload it. And so it was quick, so I can do daily uploads, just about. And then, of course, hubby uh, needs sort of intensified, or his condition got sort of worse, which has taken a lot of my time that I can't even do that anymore in the morning because I don't have the right frame of mind to do that because I was just more concerned oh my god gorgeous um, or I was just more concerned of his condition but anywho so past few days was utterly miserable and so and then I've been busy 
I had a mammogram again. So after I think 15 years. <laughs> so ladies, very important. I don't have a history of breast cancer in my family as well. So which sort of uh, made me complacent in a way. But uh, I'll be getting the result in um, probably next week. So have your mammogram. And here in Australia, when you reach 50 years old, when you turn 50, you automatically get given uh, a chance to have free mammogram. And so again, they send it to you again when you're 60, I think, because I haven't had it done before uh, when I got the offer at 50. I just ignored it because we're supposed to go on a prospecting trip. So I did not take it up. So it was my bad. So I thought this time I'm going to take advantage of it and I'm sure, well, I'm not sure, but I'm just hoping that everything's okay. So today, since I'm feeling better, even though it might seem that I'm getting emo, <laughs> emotional, it's because of that card uh, that sort of uh, touch a soft nerve. Um, I am not trying to forget my Wally or my Pedro. My, I'm very proprietary and I'm my, 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 oh my, 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 okay. Oh, that's gorgeous. Anyway, so the sun's against it, but it doesn't matter. I'm sure it still looks beautiful, but it's just that um, you have good days and bad days. And sometimes um, certain days touch a soft nerve <laughs> and also... Actually, a soft nerve. Speaking of which, I've done my back in. I pinch a nerve on my back. So anyway, oh look, this one now. I have to remove that because we are getting another minus three, minus three, minus four, minus one or something the next coming days. I think starting maybe tomorrow. What is it today? I don't even know what day it is today. Is it Saturday? Yes, yeah, Saturday. So I think, I don't know if we had uh, minus this morning. I think it was warm last night. It wasn't really that cold. Or is it? I can't remember now. But anywho, guys, this is just a short one. So I thought I'd just keep you an update as to my mental state. This one, I'm sorry. I'm not going to do subtitles or whatever with this one. So I apologize for those ones that would like subtitle on this. But anywho, I am just going to bid you adieu. And if you say you can't understand, please understand that uh, I am really flat out so on your video as well when you watch a video on YouTube from any country you can actually activate their little subtitle the gear you click on that and then you say um, subtitles you can auto translate it to your language at least you get an idea of sort of what was being talked about or what I'm going or talking about but anyway guys that's all I've got for this video and I am now gonna go inside and have a cuppa and I'm gonna continue as well actually I'm gonna edit this video really quickly and also do the other one so anyway uh, hopefully I'll get to upload this actually I'm gonna upload this tomorrow so that way uh, for the weekend for you, my lovelies, you've got something to watch. Also, that one, I need to clean that up. Anyway, guys, thank you so much. I love you guys. Thank you so much for all your support over the years. And I'll catch you on the next video. Oh, my goodness, that one is already dead. But I think that still look beautiful, even though it's dead. Hopefully, it actually, there's still life. There's still life that will come back. On my way into the house, I saw this beautiful far pillar which is just so big and gorgeous. And so now that reminded me that I need to compare these two here. So that one is also a far pillar, more colorful, and also basically limited on the soil that it's grown in because of all the other plants that's in that pot. But see the difference? Look at this one here. Look, this one's huge and single-headed and is also flowering even in winter despite the cold weather. This beautiful plant is soldiering on, growing beautifully. Look at that. Gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful plant. You can go back here, beautiful one. And... While I'm here, <laughs> I can't help myself. Oh, goodness. Okay. This one is in need of soaking. So this is a very frost hardy plant. So this one, those yellow things there, they're the variegated leaves, I would say. Because you can't really say this is, I don't know, a flower, but it's the leaves of the plant that is variegated. But now this one, I'm going to give you a good soaking. Come on, baby. Let's go inside where it's warm.